Hi everyone, this is the next part of the uh, Portman Commodore rebuild and um, in this one we're going to show where we're up to lately the car is at my workshop at the Keitler Motorsport Engineering Workshop and uh, there we're going through and um, just stripped out the car down to all the damaged parts cut away and with the, introducing the new body but first we've got to get the car unloaded into the workshop and uh, as you can see here the car's um, been brought in and off the truck so we've got another body which uh, was we're using parts of this as a donor and this is going to be uh, or has been uh, sectioned up and then cut on to the other car and you can see us here loading it onto the trailer and getting it um, get to get it transported around to my workshop. I was very kindly a, a good friend Dave Proctor arranged for the car to be uh, just stored at another yard and that's us bringing it back onto the onto the trailer to get it around to the KME workshop. So we're here now and uh, we'll bring the car inside and we roll it onto its side and uh, start cleaning the car out give us uh, access to the underside the cut is going to be under the back seat where the original factory seam is and here we go starting to plasma cut it out now and uh, with a bit of a mess because there's all the oil and contaminants from the original old car but uh, yeah cut out all right Anyway, back down to the car. It's on this frame that we built to uh, mount the car and be able to measure off and get uh, everything sorted the way we need to. And here's the original back that we've got to section through to get it off and uh, fit the um, donor body. So there's James doing the last bit of the separation along the seam. We sort of jump ahead a bit here because... Um, a lot of video wasn't taken so I'm sorry about that uh, this is just getting there getting the door gaps pretty good and the body's looking really good um, fitted up there's the windscreen we put the windscreen in to get all the windscreen gaps uh, right and so on very important to make that happen now and there's the inside of the car the dashboard and all that we had to do once again, the rear of the car, the lines were looking really good at this stage. And I had to get another door because the original door was just too distorted. And this is where a lot of the fun started with these really messed up sections yep. which took a lot of the impact um, from the initial crash. And yeah, so there's, we're sectioning parts into it um, off the donor body. And um, here we are, like, getting it clamped up so that it corrects itself. Um, once again it's measured off the frame that you saw below and any sections that were too damaged I've folded up and made sections for it and there it is with the drain hole for the plenum chamber cut out uh, and there's the original uh, section being welded back into position so it's all coming along really really well
And they're the bits that we've just been hammering and welding and making lots of noise and grinding dust and so on. The section, the original section's fitted back in again and creating a huge amount of strength for the the car and the forward section being welded to the bulkhead. And there's the repaired bulkhead on the uh, passenger side, looking really good. And as you can see, there's chains and so on. We had a lot of pushing and pulling to do to get the cage and the car combined. We used all the tricks I could think of, and one of them was we got the endless chain um, hooked to my little forklift, which is then loaded into the side of the frame that we had before. So James was uh, happily on the endless chain, and here he is looking at me and thinking, what on earth are we doing? But it was working out. Uh, we were getting the lines and the gaps coming in nicely. Um, and as soon as we got things to the point where all the doors fitted lovely and so on, we were able to just uh, weld it up. And as you can see here, we locked the frame down to the concrete. And um, <clears throat> that way we could use the fork braced into the side of it. Our B pillars looking really good. Uh, nice straight lines, really, really happy with the way it's coming out. And this is the um, base of the B-pillars from the inside with a big gusset plate down and then that's uh, then gusseted into the side intrusion bars of the original roll that cage. That follows back to the uh, new section of the body and that's where it was on the original car. So it's just been uh, tack well at the, at the moment but it's nearly there. And I'll put a wheel on it to have a bit of a look but uh, if we just could uh, forgot what it did look like, well... This is what it looked like when we picked it up. Hope you've all enjoyed the video so far and we're uh, still working and getting the car ready for paint and um, hopefully we'll have it on the, uh, it'll be up there for people to look at very soon. Thanks for watching.